Hi, Shane here. You're watching Sam for God. This is Mark. Check her out. So hi guys, how are you doing? I've been back from Disney World Florida for about five days now and I think it's about time I made my Disney World haul video. You guys seem to enjoy it, you guys have been asking me on Instagram over and over again when's your haul going to be out so this is it, I'm going to do it at last. I mean I like hauls myself, especially when it has to do with Disney, I enjoy watching them so I get it, I get that you enjoy watching Disney stuff and um, bear in mind I was on holiday for about two weeks, specifically in Disney World so I did spend quite a bit of money. I did buy quite a lot of Disney stuff, so this is probably going to be quite a long haul. Um, I used the word quite, quite a lot, didn't I? But yeah, don't tell me I didn't warn you, but um, yeah, let's start with it. The first item in this haul video is going to be what I'm wearing at the moment, which is a It's a Small World t-shirt. This was actually one of the first things I bought, and like my friends were like, you need to get this. The t-shirt spoke to me, because It's a Small World is one of my favourite rides, I just love that ride, and um, I'd never really seen any proper like It's a Small World in merchandise anywhere, I mean in Disneyland Paris anyway, which is where I normally go, and so when I saw this I was like, I just have to get it. It was just too cute not to. And um, it was, um, they only had it in like children's t shirts, if I remember correctly. I didn't see any adult ones anyway. So, this actually is a large um, youth one. So, I don't really know what that means, but um, I guess it means for youth, young people, young adults, I don't know, but the large in that. So, in case you care about that. But um, that's what the t shirt looks like. I don't really know how well you can see. It's just got like this small logo on it and the little cute dolls, and I just love it so much. And um, I can use it as a, as a pyjama top as well. I might even sleep in it tonight. <laughs> it is quite late at night at the moment, by the way. So yeah, that's the first item done. Uh, I loved it. It was. I think I bought it off one of the uh, shops on Main Street, one of the first shops, because it was literally probably the first things I, that I bought. So The next two things I'm going to show you are things that I got for free, and anyone can get them. You can get them for free as well if you go to the parks. Um, and they're badges. Um, anyone can get them. Uh, they call them buttons in America. So um, I got two of them. The first one is a first visit badge. Now I'm not really sure how well you can see it. Oh, that's uh, focus. Thank you, camera. Um, so um, we all got them apart from Rebecca because it wasn't her first time in Disney World. But it was my first time in Disney World for sure. And so I got one. And I wore them the first couple of days. And um, then we got this one as well, which because it looked really cute. It got the Cinderella cat. Um, Cinderella. Uh, What's it called? <laughs> Carriage and the cast and everything. It says happily ever after. And we start, we wore them, all of us, on the first day. Until we noticed everyone congratulating us for our wedding and our marriage. And then we realised that this is basically a marriage badge, which none of us are actually married yet, believe it or not. So we decided to take them off. But it was still cute anyway, so we kept them. And it's a funny memory thinking about it. I also got given a third badge, which I don't actually have with me right now, but I'll show it to you in a different clip. But basically, in Animal Kingdom, whenever you make any purchases anywhere, as far as I know, you get the choice of donating a bit of money to a wildlife charity. Not a lot, but like basically, for instance, if you buy something for like 7 50 uh, they ask you if you want to round it up to eight dollars and then give the rest of the money to charity, like the, the wildlife charity that they support. And they asked me this at one point, and I said yes, of course, because why not? It's just a bit of money and it's a really good charity. So I said yes, and as a thank you, they gave me this um, Animal Kingdom Wildlife Charity badge thing. So these are the two badges that I got uh, for donating some money to that wildlife charity, conservation charity. Um, this one I got from Animal Kingdom, as you can see. Sorry about the noise, as always, guys. Um, yeah, this one's from Animal Kingdom. It says this is Disney's Animal Kingdom on here, a Disney Worldwide Conservation Fund. And then I actually forgot, but I also got one from um, the hotel resort that we were staying at, which is Disney's Port Orleans Resort. So, um, yeah, when I yeah, bought a few things from the shop in our hotel, I also got given this badge because I accepted to donate a bit of money for that. So these are both um, badges or buttons, as Americans call them. Moving on, uh, as some of you may know, I'm a collector of things. I tend to collect loads of things. I easily get attached to things and want to collect things. And that happened to me in Disney World. Um, one thing that they have spread everywhere around the Disney parks in Disney World, including the water parks, are Disney um, pressed coins um, thingies, machines that you can make pressed coins from. And um, <laughs> this is basically all the ones that I got. I got one the first day, my, my friends convinced me to get one, and I just thought I might as well try it out, and I managed to pretty much fill in this book in my two weeks of stay there, which says a lot about me. Um, it's just very cute though, I just, uh, I couldn't help it and all my friends, they bless them, they just like every time we got to like a press coin machine area, they like got their change out because most of them, most of the press coins were about 50, 51, is it 
pen sense i don't know two quarters and something else and then so like i was always constantly making sure i had enough change and if i didn't my friends always had their change to fit to help me out with these uh fresh coins and then um, every machine thing you has like three different options as well so you can choose which ones you want you can get all three if you want or just press and for your favorite one and they've got them in different like lands in magic kingdom and all the different parks different attractions different areas they're just very cute and um, i'm actually surprised i didn't manage to finish it because i probably would have i could have easily and there's some bigger ones that are silvery and they were about a dollar 25 so i only got three of those but i'll try and show you some of them anyway you're probably not going to get a good look at them but they are very cute i don't know how detailed they look on camera but um i don't know i just got tried to get my favorite ones uh at least one from you know my favorite attractions i got a 2015 one um there's a bug life one there's just loads uh we need a poo um these ones are actually universal ones so they're a bit irrelevant and these are the silver ones which is tower of terror um a simba and nalo and then a magic kingdom one because that's my favorite park and um this is the booklet thing that i ended up buying for it i think i bought it on like one of my last days it was $8.95 but so worth it because you can just keep everything in one place and i won't lose my coins and if i ever go back to disney world or um anyway if i just get some more pressed coins that i want to keep in one place i can just add them to this so that's why i did with my universal ones i just kept them in the same one so um yeah that's my next item in the haul i promise things will get a bit more exciting by the way guys i'm just starting off like with not exciting things the next thing i bought which is actually again one of my first things that i purchased is an autograph book um <laughs> um i uh, i didn't think i was gonna do this because i don't know i just feel like i'm a i'm an adult now i'm a grown person i don't need to go, go and collect autographs um i used to have an autograph book when i was in paris as a child i enjoyed doing it and stuff but i have you know in my recent trips as an adult i've never had an autograph book but i just thought it's my first time in Disney World, I'm feeling it, might as well go and get one. I made my friend Rebecca get one as well and we just both went around <laughs> collecting characters' autographs and it was actually really fun and it brought back loads of memories from my childhood. And with the autograph book I also got this pen, which is like a standard generic kind of Disney World pen. We got so many autographs on this holiday, like I, I, we met so many characters. Basically this book is completely full, uh, like literally. Um, I might actually make a video just showing you all my autographs, because um, there's just... I think I've only got about seven pages left of this massive book, so um, I will do a, a video later on showing you and talking just about all the characters that I met and stuff, but um, so I'll show you this as well. The next thing I got, which you can actually kind of see, is this um, Mike Wazowski, um hat, which, oh my god, I'm so excited about. Like, obviously in Florida, it was so hot, like I was boiling every single day. That I, there was no way I was going to wear this um, but I go to Disneyland Paris a lot it's my favourite Disney park in the world uh, I visit it a lot, it's the closest to me I probably will go at some point this year again and next year and whenever I can and Disneyland Paris is a place where you can actually wear hats like this because it can get cold and I just love this, I fell in love with it I like as soon as I saw it I was like I'm getting it um, it's just so cool, I love Mike um, I love Sully as well, I do have a Sully hat as well, you might have seen it from like my 2013 video videos of Disneyland Paris vlog whatever check it out if you haven't but um this one just was too cool not to get so um yeah apart from this it's a small t-shirt that I got I also got two more t-shirts so I'm going to show you them before I go to other stuff the next t-shirt that I got which um, I actually really really like I got this from um, a hotel shop which we stayed at the Port Orleans Riverside Hotel is this um just like a casual Walt Disney World um t-shirt which um it kind of looks like the style of like say Abercrombie or Hollister t-shirts which I love and wear quite a lot anyway so this could easily if you don't like read it properly you could just think it's an Abercrombie t-shirt or something and then you wear it you read it but to be fair you see the Mickey logo in the middle and you can tell from that but you can read it as well and then it kind of shows what it is I don't know I just thought it was really nice it was kind of like a more subtle Disney t-shirt so um, I've got loads of full-on Disney tops anyway I didn't need to get anything like that but this one was too cute to say no to, so I got that. Guys, I'm going to take this hat off because it's just too hot, sorry. Right, so next t-shirt that I got is this lovely Main Street t-shirt, which um, is actually a men's like unisex t-shirt, but I love it so much that I had to get it anyway. Um, it's, um, it's Mickey, Pluto, Goofy and Donald just walking on Main Street, and you can see the castle behind them as well. I just, I love... I love it. I love the design of it. I love uh, the colour. 
I love that everything is like kind of in sepia kind of thing and then they're, they're in colour. I just think it looks really cool. I've not actually tried it on, so it might be a bit big for me, but I don't know. Um, I just I liked it anyway. And if, even if it's like, if it doesn't fit nicely, I'll just wear it as pyjama. Okay, moving on to bags. Um, I love bags, especially Disney bags. And the next item that I'm going to show is actually the, the item that I spent the most on. So... Even though I spent like, I bought quite a lot of things, like little things. This thing on its own <laughs> cost me $75, which I know is crazy. And I, ha I, 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 I had a thought, I think about it when I, when I saw it, I was like, do I really need this? Literally, I was like stood in that shop for about five minutes thinking, do I do this or do I not? And I ended up doing it because it was just so pretty and you might disagree, but this bag, basically, I got it from like the fashion I don't actually know what it's called. It's like one of those shops in there. They've got it in Disney Village as well in Disneyland Paris. But it's like one of those sh Disney shops that sells like, what's the word I'm looking for? Like branded, really nice Disney stuff. Um, that is quite expensive. And I've never bought from any of those shops before. But in Disney World, when I saw this, I couldn't say no. If you, you probably know this. Blue is my favourite colour. I absolutely love the colour blue. And I love all the shades, in fact, in this. <laughs> it's got like blue, purple. Um, yeah, blue, yellow is not necessarily not one of my favourite colours, but I still really like it. But like blue, blue, purple and pink are just shades that I really like and I think go really well together. And um, I like bags like this as well, like shoulder bags. Um, they're normally the kind of bags that I wear. They're just more comfortable for me to walk around in and stuff. Especially when I'm vlogging as well because I don't have to worry about my bag. Um, this is a Vera Bradley, that's the brand, if you care. Uh, it was $75 without tax, which is still, like, when I think about that, I'm like, did you actually do that, Sam? But, um, to be fair, that's more, that's, that's kind of like $50, I mean, £50. Not too bad when you think about it, but still, um, it's just really nice. It's got loads of space in it, loads of space, and I just, it's quite subtle as well. Like, you, when you see this, to be fair, you can see Minnie quite well, but it's not like full on Disney. You can just think, you might, at first glance, it might just look like a nice flowery blue bag with some Mickey and Minnie just uh, chilling on it. But um, I really like it. The, the, I mean, it's just the material's really nice. It's just a very cool bag, very spacious, and I'm definitely going to use it a lot. So I thought, um, might as well get it. So I don't regret it, guys. I don't. But I also got another bag, which this bag I'm actually going to be using uh, when I go to Disney parks in the future, Disneyland Paris, etc. Um, and it's this small bag, uh, which is obviously not as nice quality as the other one, but it's just, again, it's blue, my favourite colour. And it just says Walt Disney World on it, and it's got some of the characters on it, like Buzz and Woody and uh, Goofy and um, Pluto and stuff. And it's just, again, a shoulder bag. It's literally very similar to the bag that I normally use when I go to Disney Disneyland Paris, just except the one that I use is just a plain black one. And this one's a nice Disney one, so I thought I'd get it um, and use it, because I'm definitely going to be making use of this one. I told you I'm a collector, didn't I? Um, on one of my last days, we went to um, World of Disney in uh, downtown Disney and we all kind of spread out because everyone wanted to go shopping just having a look around and everything. I'd already done pretty much most of my shopping by that point so I didn't need to buy too many stuff. So I was just kind of looking for presents for people mainly. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, whilst I was waiting to pay I just saw these and I'd been eyeing them up throughout my whole holiday and uh, I just had to get them. <laughs> I, I, it was like, I think it was on day 10 or something. So it was literally towards the end of my holiday in Disney. And um, basically you can collect these in Disney World. And I know that I'm not going to be able to collect the rest of them because I've left Disney World now and I only got two of these packs. But um, yeah, it says collect the packs. And I was just curious. I wanted to know what they were. So the first one, this purple one, Disneyland and Walt Disney. Um, I don't actually know what series it's from. Oh yeah, it's a park series. Yeah, so it's got like, different things from the parks. So, um, I've got, I think I've got the Haunted Mansion here. I don't know how well you can see it. Um, and then like a random bus kind of thing, which is meant to be a bus from the park. And uh, to be fair, I'm a bit confused by this one. Again, I think it'd be really fun if you could collect all of them, but obviously I can't. Um, and then this one, the next one, the red one is, um, again, it's a park series. Uh, this one's got some characters in it though. So we've got Mickey here and uh, Minnie. There you go, Christmassy, and another mini, and she's like in her pyjamas. So yeah guys, I don't really know what they are, I think they're just tiny figures that you can collect and stuff, and I know that if I lived in Florida or in Disney World, which would be a dream, 
actually no it wouldn't be because I'd hate the heat um, I'd probably collect all of them but I just thought I'd try it out and see what I'm missing out on anyway I need to be quick because otherwise this uh, haul's going to be incredibly long I haven't actually got to the exciting bits yet so let's do this the next three things that I got I'm just going to show them together are these little soft toys um, I love all three of them basically the first one is this one again I saw this on my very first day and then I didn't get it because I was going to go on rides and stuff and I was like, I'm, I'm going to get it like before I leave. Uh, and then I didn't see it anywhere else again until I saw it again and I had to get it. <laughs> you'll see, you'll find out if you watch my vlog and stuff uh, from Magic Kingdom. But it was just, it was too cute. Not too. Woody is my favourite character if you didn't know. Toy Story is my favourite Disney film, Disney slash Pixar film. I love it. And I mean, what else could you want? A Mickey dress as Woody. I think it's just absolutely amazing. It's so cute. It's a cute size as well, not too big. It was about $16, yeah, $16.95 without tax, and I just think it looks really, really cool. So, yeah, that's the first one. It's this mini one, um, who's kind of dressed in like an American attire, <laughs> an American outfit. Again, I just thought I had to, I had to do it because I was in America. I was experiencing Disney, American Disney for the first time, which was very strange to me. I'm so used to Paris version of Disney where everything's a bit more chilled less cheesy but it was cool to experience the, the American Disney as well and so I had to get this as like a memory of my first time and then this one just because I've never seen a Simba as cute as this like I've seen Simba soft toys before they have them in pretty much any Disney store but this one is just so cute it's just the way it's like I don't know his head's so massive it's like the baby Simba in a way it's just too cute and it's very soft and I've never had any Lion King soft toys I believe so actually I did that's a lie I had like a Nala uh, soft toy from the musical um, I still have it somewhere but anyway that's not the point the next thing I got which I think is something that anyone going to Disney World has to get is a Disney World 2015 uh, photo album they had loads of different albums um, my friend Rebecca actually got a really nice one because um, she if you want go and check it out because she got like a nice I think it's, it was a big leathery one which looked very cool um, but I I don't really keep photo albums as much as I should, but I thought I'd start anyway. So I got this smaller one. Uh, still has the like the logo and stuff. It's a bit more cheesy, a bit more tacky than hers, but um, it says 2015 on it. I'm probably going to print out some pictures and put them in there because we got so many pictures there, thanks to our memory maker, which is another thing that I kind of bought. We all kind of put money into it, and it was one of the best things we've ever done. So I defo um, uh, recommend that. A few more small things. I got this 2015 Disney World uh, magnet for our fridge. It's not focused, sorry, but it's basically Mickey, and it says Disney World on it, and it says 2015. Um, we've got so much stuff on our family uh, ma uh, <laughs> family magnet, um, our family fridge, that I just, every time I go on holiday, I feel the need to buy more stuff for it, because it's been like an ongoing thing for years and years and years. Going back to It's a Small World, and it being one of my favourite rides, um, this is like an ornament thing that I got uh, from World of Disney. This is the only place I actually saw it. I didn't see it anywhere else. And again, it's just too cute not to buy. Um, it's like, basically, it plays the music from It's a Small World, and it's like a snow globe thing. So let me just try and show you, get the snow up. Right, should I put the music up? Yes. <laughs> I can sleep to this, it's just too cute. Um, my mum also really likes this attraction, this small world, so um, as soon as I came back from uh, my holiday, I showed it to her and she was like, oh, that's so cute. And I kind of wish I'd bought one for her as well. But anyway, she can use mine as well if she wants to. The next thing I got, and it's one of the things that I'm very excited to actually watch, is this DVD which says Walt Disney World and Disneyland Disney Parks The Secret Stories and Magic Behind the Scenes New up, new updated? Shouldn't that be newly updated? I don't know There's two DVDs over five hours of footage so yeah and I checked it and everything it definitely works in like international slash UK DVDs as well because sometimes DVDs in America won't play in uh, UK or European ones but this one works so uh, this was 19.99, but I think it'll be worth it if it's more than five hours of footage about Disney World and Disney stuff um, more than willing to pay for that and watch it. I can't wait to watch it. When I do, I'll, you know, do a tweet or something. I'll let you know basically what it's what, how, what it's like. And if you've got this DVD, let me know if it's any good. Right. So the next few things are food related. Um, things that I've bought as presents and stuff. <laughs> They've kind of gone a bit crazy in in my suitcase. They've broken a bit basically, but they still look okay. So that's a goofy one. I got a mic one as well. They had them in pretty much all the shops. Um, that's the mic one. I just think they look really cute. 
and something a very cute thing to give as a present to your friends or relatives or whatever the Pluto one again it's kind of broken the Mickey hat one which is and Mickey I love him uh, kind of broken again um, oh well hopefully my friends won't mind <laughs> it's a thought that counts and a mini one so this one's really badly but I don't even know if you can see on camera but it is like her face is a bit screwed up. <laughs> oh well. So this one's a mini sugar cookie. This one's a sorcerer hat honey vanilla cookie. Goofy honey vanilla cookie. Honey lemon cookie. And another honey vanilla one. So I don't actually know what they taste like. Uh, actually Vicky I think tried this one on holiday and said they were quite nice. Just a little bit hard. Which I can feel anyway. That they, they, they feel quite hard. So I think that they actually smell really good. I didn't realise I could smell them. But yeah, these are going to go to my friends. This is another thing that I got for my friend. Um, $4.95 it was. Uh, it's just like short red rounds Mickey cookies, which I know one of my friends will really enjoy. But then what happened was that because we were on the Disney meal plan, kind of, we were on the quick service plan, so we got two quick service meals a day. We definitely didn't manage to eat all of them. And on our last day, we had like... We each had about 10 left, 10 quick service meals. So we went and uh, exchanged our meals for snacks. And this bag at the moment is basically full of snacks, which I just randomly like quickly had to get on our last day because I didn't want to waste them. Um, so there's loads of random things in here that I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna show all of them to you to be honest, but um, they were just free stuff that I got. Um, some Reese's cups, which actually I'm gonna eat one tonight. <laughs> um, yeah, some random. Disney stuff, what are these? Chocolate mints, I don't like mints. So, just loads of, basically loads of random stuff that I can give as presents and just enjoy myself. Just thought I'd show them to you because it was just a very, um, it was good. It was like a, a, if I hadn't, if I'd have known this, I probably wouldn't even got those like cute Mickey and Mike cookies and stuff that I got up earlier because I could have got those as well as snacks for free, but it's fine. <laughs> At least my friends now know that I actually paid for them. Uh, but um, yeah, it was just like a very good deal and um, we got so much that all of us, all five of us had because uh, there was five of us on holiday and we all had so much left that we all managed to get loads of snacks, free snacks and we ate some of them later on when we were in um, like Universal and stuff but yeah, the next two things I got guys are these two shoes so um, I kind of collect the shoes, the ornament things I don't really collect them, I've got five of them apart from these two so these two, well these two I'll have seven um, I'm just looking at them because they're, they're over there on my shelf. But this one, I'd, I'd not seen these two. I'm pretty sure they probably have them on the Disney website now, but I just, they look, they look cool. This one's the Dory one, which, uh, <laughs> so cute. It's just, I love Dory. She's one of my favorite Disney characters ever. She's just awesome. And this one's the Mrs. Incredible one, which again, I just, I've not seen any, I'd only ever seen princess ones, to be honest, and Mary Poppins, and a Tinkerbell one, but I've not seen like these cool ones, like cooler characters, Pixar characters, and so when I saw them, I had to get them. Remember when I was talking about uh, our fridge and magnets and stuff? Um, I got another magnet for our fridge. Uh, when I eventually leave uh, our family house, I'll take it with me, but um, at the moment it can just be used for all of us. It's, um, I don't know if it's in focus or not, but it's basically a woody fridge magnet, like a 3D woody fridge magnet, which looks really cool. Again, woody, as I've said many times before, is my favorite character. And so I had to get him. Uh, I got also got this one for my friend. So um, it's an Olaf one. It's my friend uh, Marie. She, um, if you didn't know, actually my YouTube um, uh, banner thing on my channel, the artwork for it, she made it. She drew it because she's like an artist and she studied like um, animation and stuff at uni. So she's really good at that. So I had to get her this and also this pen, which is an Elsa pen. Um, because she loves Frozen like me. She's like a Disney nerd, she loves cartoons and stuff, so I always love talking to her. But um, hopefully she'll enjoy these. Um, I'm gonna give them to her next time I see her. Then I got a few cards because I like cards. In fact, that's another thing I collect. I, I collect cards, just like postcards from places I go to and I tend to write like um, on the back of them memories or like my favorite thing about the place and who I went with and stuff like that. So I got just a generic castle one. Which is very cool. They didn't, they didn't actually have as many cards as I thought they would. Like, I think in Disneyland Paris, the selection is a bit better. Or maybe I just didn't look well. I don't know, I just didn't see very many nice ones. I saw this one, like a, like a Magic Kingdom pack, which I haven't actually opened yet. But, um, like, these are the kind of pictures that you can get postcards. So I'm probably going to use them and stuff. But this one's going to be my main one that's going to go in my box of 
postcards and I'm going to write my favourite memories in the back and stuff and it's going to be fun. I also got <laughs> playing cards because that's another thing I collect. <laughs> I, need, I seriously need to start collecting things. But um, yeah, it's just a normal... I haven't actually opened these either, I haven't looked at them. But I think it's got pictures of like different attractions and stuff um, behind them. Which is going to be really cool, like a nice memory when I play cards and stuff. So just had to get it. I got this keychain which says S on it. Oh. I believe I got it for my friend, but it could well be for myself as well because I'm an S. <laughs> I'm Sam. I think I got it for my friend. I don't really remember. But I, I definitely got this for my friend, Sindhu, because she loves Cinderella. And this is like a nice little Cinderella pen from Disney World. Um, yeah, it's just too cute, so I had to get it for her. I got this pen for myself though, because again, generic American Mickey pen. It's got the American flag and it's Mickey and it's a pen and I love writing. Probably not going to be using it too much because I don't want the ink to run out, but I will anyway because it's cute and it's just... <laughs> I love cute pens. Sorry about the noise outside by the way guys, it's London and there's cars running about at all times. So anyway, the next item I'm going to show you also to do with stationery. Um, and it's this little notebook which looks so cool. Again, I just love the like uh, kind of retro design on it. It looks amazing. I love it. Again, noise, sorry. But um, and the pages as well, if you open them. Look how nice the pages are. Oh my god. And it smells so nice and I'm just, I love notebooks because I write a lot. I write stories, I write reviews, I just write loads of things so that's going to be very handy. And then um, this set of pens to go with it which, <laughs> they look so cute. I love them. I don't want to use them but I will use them and the, the pens were actually more expensive than the notebook. I suppose there's more pens. So it was $13.95 for the pens and $9.95 for the notebook. Then I got this um, Fantasyland um, plate kind of thing, decorative plate. Believe it or not this was only $5 which is probably because it's plastic, I don't really know. But um, they had one for every single um, land in Magic Kingdom. Fantasyland is by far my favourite, it's my favourite in Disneyland Paris and it was my favourite in Disney World as well. It's just the most magical in my opinion, most of my I don't know, I wouldn't even say my favourite riser in it, it's just the, 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 the land that makes me feel more at home, <laughs> more at Disney. So I, and it's just the, the colours of it again, blue. All the different plates from different lands and different colours and this one was blue. So it just, again it spoke to me, the plate guys. The plate actually spoke to me, it went Sam, you need to get me. And I was like, okay, I'm getting you because you're only $5. I promise you this haul will eventually end guys, just uh, be patient. Okay, so the next things I got were Tsum Tsums. Because um, that's another thing that I collect. I'm just a collector of everything. That's ridiculous. It's a good thing I've not started collecting pins. But um, yeah, Tsum Tsums. Um, oh, I actually had the, Basically, the Inside Out Tsum Tsums came out uh, when I was still in London in the beginning of June. Um, and they sold that very quickly on the Disney Store website, the UK Disney Store website. And I only managed to get three of them. I could not for the life of me remember which three I got. So it was a bit of a gamble when I was there. <laughs> I just tried to remember whilst I was there which ones I didn't have and I was asking my friends if they could remember but no one really could. Um, and it turns out that this one I already had anyway but it's fine. I can give it away as a present or something. But these four I definitely did not have. So um, I don't even really know. Why did I get that? Actually that's not, that's, that's not inside out. That's um, I, I had that anyway. That's from Big Hero 6. I, I thought that. It's like sat there looking at me right now. What is wrong with me, guys? I had that. I'm going to have to give it to a friend or something. But these three are from Inside Out. And I definitely did not have these three because they sold out very, very quickly on the Disney UK store. Um, and so I had to get it because they was my only chance. Otherwise, I was going to have to pay loads of money on eBay to buy them from like the UK website. And I wasn't going to do that. And I could get them for how much are, how much are these? Um, $5.95. Same price as that plate, so very cute and I can't wait to add them to my collection. And I actually can't wait to watch Inside Out the film. I'm so annoyed with myself that I didn't watch it when I was in America, because it was like everywhere. Everyone was like, oh my god, you should watch it. You could actually watch a preview of it in Epcot. And I was so tempted by it, but I was like, no, I'll just watch it when I go back home. I'll watch it with my family or my friends back home who are as interested in it as I am. You know, I'm on holiday, I don't want to go to the cinema. But then it turns out it doesn't come out until like the end of July here in the UK. Whereas it came out in America on the, on the 19th of June. That's like more than a month early. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have to wait another few weeks until I see it. I'm so excited for it though. Like, literally, can't tell you how excited I am. I love Pixar. It's one of my favourite companies. When Pixar works with Disney, amazing. And there hasn't really been a Pixar Disney film in so long. 
I have got so, so such high expectations of this film. Anyway, irrelevant. Probably one of my biggest collections of all <laughs> collections is my Vinylmation collection. And I was actually very disappointed by the lack of Vinylmation love in Disney World. I think a few years ago, if I'd gone to Disney World, there would have been so many vinyl missions everywhere, like especially in like D Street, the store uh, in downtown Disney. I'd heard they had such, you know, a, a big selection of uh, vinyl missions. Vinyl mission love is just dying down, guys, and it makes me sad because I love them still. But I still managed to find a few that I liked. So um, this one's the first one. It was um, none of them were like blind boxes. Well, this one's not anyway. Um, it's a holiday 2014 one, so it's an old one. But I didn't have it, so I thought, why not? It looks quite cute. I love the Mickey one, especially Snowman. And then uh, this one, which is uh, Jafar and the Parrot. So, yeah. What's his name? Iago or something. Yeah. So, again, how much was this? Like, I don't even remember. I believe probably about $19 or something. Just wanted to buy some Vinylmations, and these were the only two that I liked. So, I also got just a random one, because was, this was, was very cheap. Look. This one, I swear I got this with like two more things on offer. I think, oh my god, I think it might have actually even been like $2 or something, or maybe $1 even. It, it was, there was like a shelf in one of this random shop in downtown Disney. And it was like, everything on the shelf is $1. And I was like, there's no way I'm not going to get this then. So it's a Vinyl Mission Park 13, series Park 13. Um, not even necessarily a massive fan of the ones, but when it's $1, come on, you've got to do it. I'm going to open it for you right now, just in case you're wondering which one I get. You probably don't even care. Cars outside, guys, sorry. <laughs> I'm so moody in this video. What's wrong with me? I shouldn't be moody. I've just come back from the best holiday ever. Um, right, come on, let's do this. Ooh. I don't even know who this is. What is this one? Yeah, it's this, basically, it's this one. The bottom one. I don't even... I don't know. Does it say... It's this Park Series 13. Oh, yeah, Buzz Lightyear's... <laughs> This is the Buzz, Light, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin Ride, which is one of my least favourite rides ever because I'm so bad at it. So it's just hilarious that I have to get that of all the ones that I could have got. Okay, so even though I don't collect pins, I decided to get a couple of pins when I was there because uh, they were just cute. And I, I don't collect pins like crazily, but I do get a pin every now and again if I find them cute. And this one was very cute because I like Toy Story. And if it, if it focuses, you'll find it as cute as I do, because at the moment it just looks very blurry and ugly. Oh, there it is. Now it's focused. <laughs> so yeah, this one, I don't even remember how much it was, but I um, just have to get that one. And then I've got another one as well, if I can find it. Oh, come on, Sam. Um, I, I don't think I did get another one. I believe that's the only pin I got. Is it? I thought I got another one, maybe that's 2015 one. Doesn't look like I did. Um, I got this though for my dad. Where is it? Oop. Just, uh, he's probably, he will use it though because he's a nice dad and he'd be like, oh Sam, you're cute. He'll just put it on his like house feed or something. And then I got this for myself because like my friend Rebecca kind of convinced me to go out and get it because it said Sam on it and you know, you don't often find my name on stuff and you definitely never find Samar, which is my full name. But even Sam is like, you see like Samuel and Samantha, but not Sam. So like, I was like, why not just get it? Just because it's cool. <sighs> just a few more things to get through, guys, okay? The next thing I got is a mug. I had to get a mug. <laughs> I get mugs everywhere I go. I collect mugs. I've got too many mugs. I haven't got enough room for them. I need to sort out my life. But <laughs> this mug <laughs> um, says Magic Kingdom on it, which is my favourite park of all the parks in Disney World. Um, yeah, it's just the most magical one. Uh, it's not even a, it's not even a pretty mug. Now that I look at it, I don't even think it's pretty. Why did I get it? It just, it, <laughs> it's just, it just, I just, I just wanted to get a Magic Kingdom mug. I didn't have any nice other Magic Kingdom ones, so I just had to get this one. It's all right. It's not the prettiest mug I've seen, but it's got the cast on it and stuff. Um, it even got has a buzz on it, so that's cool. This mug, however, I am quite pleased with the next one. This one's actually a nice mug, and this one's a 2015 one. Uh, Disney World, Walt Disney World 2015 is quite a big mug. I can use, use it to drink my coffee in it and stuff. I can actually use it for hot chocolate and stuff. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's quite nice and that's the back of it. So this one I'm kind of happy with. This one's a bit ugly but just got it for sentimental reasons because I love Magic Kingdom and I was getting all emotional when I had to leave it the last time. We went to Pizza Planet one day in Hollywood Studios and you guys know how much I love um, Toy Story. And so, um, yeah, I just, uh, when I went to order my pizza, I didn't even like pizza that much, but 
the pizza there was quite nice. <laughs> um, you had an option to like pay a bit more and get one of these souvenir cups or whatever they're called. And it just says Pizza Planet on it. Is it gonna zoom, focus? Yes. It's got the aliens on them. Very cute. Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's too cute. So again, this is like a very useful thing that you can put your drinks in and whatnot. Um, probably was about six, seven dollars or something. And it was like, you just paid with it with your food. Um, and this, we got one for free. We each got one, all five of us, because we were staying on Disney property. And it's like, uh, every day you get like, as many drinks as you want, basically, in this thing, uh, in your hotel. Um, the restaurant thing, which is very cool. Um, I chose the blue one, because blue is my favourite colour. Even my magic band is blue, as you can tell. I'm still wearing it for some reason, sentimental reasons. But I thought I'd show you that anyway. Also, um, one night in downtown Disney, we decided to go and see Cirque du Soleil. Um, the La Nuba one, which is a, a certain production of it that's only actually shown in Disney in Florida. And um, so I bought a program. That's pretty much the only thing I got from there. It was amazing though. It was one of the best things I've ever seen. It was just awesome. And um, yeah, it's just a standard program with all the forms in it, some pictures from the show. And so I just thought I'd show this in my haul as well. The next few things I'm going to show you are pats and ears and stuff because I, pff, I got quite a few. Um, first thing I got is this. Um, I, I, for some reason I keep calling it my Buzz Lightyear hat. It has nothing to do with Buzz Sam. Why do you keep calling it that? It's probably because of the space thing here. It makes me feel like Buzz Lightyear when I wear it. <laughs> um, again, this was in the youth section, so um, it's not an adult hat or cap, but um, it fits me. I've got it on like one of the highest ones though. But it fits me and it's just very cool. It's blue, it's spacey, which I like. Um, I got it from Tomorrowland somewhere and I wore it. It was just nice well, to keep the sun out of my face because oh my god it was sunny there and oh my god I could not deal with it. Then one day in Animal Kingdom I realised that I'd forgotten my ears, my little normal ears and I was like I can't take pictures with Mickey and Minnie without my ears so I'm gonna have to get another pair <laughs> and I got these ones which are actually quite cool and I'll probably never really wear them again unless I go to Animal Kingdom again because they're very animally like they've literally got zebra prints on them that's that's what they are. I mean I might wear them at some point in Disneyland Paris but they're cool and very very comfortable. I only wore them for that one day in Animal Kingdom but that's what they look like. Um, don't really know what else to say. The next pair of ears are some of my favourite pairs of ears ever. I'm going to wear them forever and ever when I go to Disneyland Paris as well. Um, you guys know how much I love the colour blue. I've said it over and over again. Especially this colour. And um, white, again, is also one of my favourite colours. Blue and white and red and pink to some extent. Then purple. I'm just listing all my favourite colours now. But blue, red and white are my favourite colours. And... Um, so this was like perfect for me and I absolutely love stars as well. They're my favourite shapes. And so this was just amazing. Um, yeah, that's kind of... I got compliments on this as well. I got these from Magic Kingdom and I think it's the only place that sell sold them apart from like World of Disney and stuff. So when I wore these uh, ears in the other parks like Animal Kingdom and um, Epcot and stuff, some people would just randomly be like, oh, they're, they're quite cute ears, I like them. Don't know if they were just trying to be nice, or they genuinely found them nice, or whatever, but um, yeah, they were very cute and I really enjoyed them. They're definitely the ones that I wore the most um, on the holiday, so yeah. But by far my favourite set of ears, which uh, I didn't wear them as often as I would have liked, just because they were a bit annoying to wear, because they're not proper ears, they're like a hat. But it's this one, um, Woody ones, which uh, <laughs> as you can kind of see here, Woody actually signed. Um, I was a bit of a fangirl the first time I met him with Buzz um, and then I was a bit even more of a fangirl when I met him with Woody and, um, sorry not Woody, Jesse and Jesse didn't like it so I'll talk about that in another video but um, yeah Woody like offered to sign it for me which is very cute and um, this is what kind of annoys me about it I mean it's fine now but in, in Florida because of the heat and everything it was just a bit of a pain having that around your face the whole time but it's just so cute. I love them and Woody loved them and I just love them and I wore them to the studios. Uh, I just, I love them. I've always wanted a pair of ears like this, um, Woody ones, and I was so happy to get them. So the next item is this puzzle, which I'm filming it like this because I kind of forgot to include it earlier. I don't know why, because it's one of my favorite things that I bought. Uh, it's a Big Thunder Mountain Railroad um, jigsaw puzzle thousand pieces which is good because I can never go like down from that it's just too boring for me if it's less than that so I can't wait to do this basically my favorite ride it was awesome in Disney World as well but I definitely prefer it in Paris it's just it just looks more grand and, and it's faster and longer and stuff but it was still amazing and I just think it's a really cool 
puzzle, which, um, they had loads of nice puzzles there, actually, and I contemplated buying other ones as well, but I didn't want to spend too much money. This one was 18 95 which is quite expensive, but I just, I'm going to have so much fun with this, so, yeah. Okay, so it's the last two things I'm going to show you, because these two things are presents for my brother, and hopefully he won't watch this video. He won't watch them before I give it to him. Um, <laughs> I've waited so long. I've waited a few days to give it to him, but, um, it's this Stitch one as a pirate. He loves Stitch. It's his favourite character, I believe. Uh, he collects Stitch stuff, which is good because that's probably the only thing he collects, <laughs> whereas I collect everything. But it just reminded me of him. I got this like on one of my first days there. Um, he just looks very cool. Then he didn't have this one, so I thought, why I collect uh, add it to his collection? And then uh, I also got him this Stitch top T-shirt thing, which I don't know. What does it say? More humans. <laughs> Bless him. He looks so scared in this. And I, it says Tomorrowland on the back, so I got it from Tomorrowland. Um, I think he would have actually... We met Stitch in Tomorrowland as well on one of our last days, me and Rebecca, and it was just so... He was so cute, so he probably would have really enjoyed it. So I just thought I'd get these for him. I'm going to give it to him as soon as he wakes up now. So yeah, guys, I believe that's it for my Disney World haul video 2015. I hope you enjoyed it. If you managed to watch the whole thing, thank you. Let me know what your favourite item was, if you liked any of the things that I bought, because you might just be like, Sam, you bought some really stupid things, like, I would not have bought those things. Hopefully you won't think that, though. But if you did, give it a, a, a thumbs up if you liked it, leave a comment down below, just let's just talk. <laughs> um, I've put my first vlog up from Magic Kingdom um, on my channel, so check that out if you haven't already, and um, I'll be putting up vlogs every Friday from now on, from different parks that I went to, so every Friday you'll get a, part, uh, a vlog, a new vlog from one of the parks that we went to, so Hollywood Studios, Epcot, um, what's the other one, Animal Kingdom, the water parks, and even Universal Studios, even though that's not Disney, um, there will be one of that as well. And I might do a Universal Studios haul as well, so if you'd like me to do that, leave a comment down below as well. Thank you so much for watching this, thank you so much for the comments and, and likes and everything whilst I was away. Um, you guys were so lovely, so excited for me to be there, and it was just so nice reading your comments every time I posted. I basically went crazy on Instagram, um, and if you haven't um, seen my Instagram pictures yet, if you want to have a look, feel free to go and have a look. It's Sam Forgot, um, it's on Instagram, S-A-M-4-G-O-D. So find me on Instagram, I'll put the link down below, and you can have a look at all my pictures, pretty much most of them, from my holiday. And uh, yeah, watch out for the vlogs. And thank you for watching, and I hope that's it. If it's not, sorry, but it's been a very long vlog anyway. Not vlog, haul video. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to go and sleep. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!